Now, in this video, we will going to take up one more problem on projections of lines. How to solve the problem number 65 by using AutoCAD software. So the 65th problem, it, uh, reads, it reads as the top view of small AB of a straight line, capital AB is 60 mm long, makes an angle of 30 degree with the XY line. The end capital A is in vertical plane and 30 mm above HP. The end capital B is 65 mm above HP. Draw the projections of the line capital AB and determine number one, length of the front view, number two, true length and true inclination with the reference planes. Now, so to do this problem, so first we'll go for AutoCAD screen, switch off the grid mode and switch on the ortho mode. Now first the command is limits. So first we are going to set the limits of the drawing 0, 0, upper right corner, so type to 297, 210, enter. Once you do that, then go to zoom all, then go to line, select some arbitrary point and click on first button of the mouse and drag the mouse towards the right side, take some distance and click on first button of the mouse. And again, you take the cursor to the top side, take some distance and click on first button of the mouse. And then enter key, then go to offset. First, we're going to draw a 4 size 297, offset this vertical line to the left side and then go to offset, take the distance as 210, select this horizontal line and offset to the top side. Then go to zoom extends and zoom 0.6x, 60% of the display screen. Then go to fillet between these two and fillet between these two and fillet between these two. Now we'll go to create the layers. So go to layer, click on new, type the layer by name XY and click on new, type the layer by name locus. Click on new, type the layer by name front view. Click on new, type the layer by name top view TV and click on new, type the layer by name tool and TL. Now we will go for the different line weights. So layer zero, that is projector lines will have 0.05. And then the XY line will going to have 0.13 and the locus line will going to have 0.05 and then the line type of locus it has to be loaded with a dash dot so you come down to dash dot and say dash dot and say OK so the line type is loaded. So then the front view will going to have a 0.5 and say OK and the top view will also have 0.5 OK and the true length will going to have 0.3 and say OK. Now we're going to come for colors. True length will going to have index color 30, OK. And the top view will going to have the red color, OK. And the front view will going to have magenta color, OK. And then you finally you close this. Once you do that, now we go for line command. So first we're going to draw the horizontal line. So you just draw one horizontal line by considering two points. Once you do that, then you take offset of 30 mm to the top. So then go to offset, take the distance as 30. From here, you offset to the top side and then go to line, take nearest point on this and draw perpendicular to this. So we got the uh, point A. Then uh, we have the top view, which is inclined at 60 degrees, I mean 60 mm, inclined at 30 degrees. And there is an offset of 65 mm. So go to offset take the distance as 65 from here, then go to line, take INT of this. So the angle is 30 degree at the rate of 30, uh, 60 less than 30. So to do that, so at the rate, relative polar coordinate system at the rate 60, 30. Sorry, then just undo it. So at the rate 60 less than minus 30 because it is in clockwise direction. Then take this line here and then go to extend, extend this line till to this boundary. Once you do that, so you have the, uh, once you have the top view, if, since you have the locus here, so you're going to get the front view. So to do that, first you go to line, take INT of this and draw perpendicular to this line. So then from here, take INT of this. So you're going to get the 
front view and top view. Now you will make this line parallel. So to do that, so go to circle, take INT on this and draw intersection point of this. So you are going to get trim between this. I want to retain the arc between these two. So I want to trim this and also trim this and then go to erase and then go to fillet between these two. So you are going to get the. Now from there, actually from there we need to draw perpendicular to this and then draw to this line. So to do that, so take intersection point of this, draw perpendicular to this line and then from here you take INT of this. Once you do that, so now you have the top view true length. So then go to circle. Now we need to draw R from here and then perpendicular to this. So to do that, so take intersection point as the center point of circle and take intersection of this. So you're going to get this uh, uh, here circle. You retain these between these two. You want to retain the arc. So you just go to erase, erase this line. Then go to line, take INT of this. So from there, draw perpendicular to this locus line and then you type INT of this. So you're going to get this drawing completed. Now you go to break this. Uh, you will go to get the XY line here and you take this XY line still here. Then go to this and break this. Similarly, you break this line. And here you break this from here, then from here. Then go to erase, erase this line, erase this line, erase this line, and erase this line. Now we need to change the layers. So to do that, first you'll go to XY, go to layer, you change that layer to XY. Then uh, you just come down to these two locus. Then go to layer, change that layer to locus, and then line to scale factor you change it then go to true length select between these two and go to layer make that layer as tl and you switch on the line way display then you click on this go to layer make that layer as front view then you click on this go to layer make that layer as top view so once you do that, now all these things have been changed. Now we need to go for uh, directions of projections. So here, go to lead, sorry, go to dim, go to DDIM, then go to modify. So you make it primary units also as zero and go to text, take the text height as three, align with the dimension line. This becomes above and uh, offset from the dimension line as 2 and then come down to symbols and arrows take the arrow size as 3 and go to lines take the offset from the origin as 2 and say ok and say close now we go to dim now we switch off this go to intersection point of this and take int of this so now you're going to get this as 60 mm now we need do i need to find out the true length yes then go to int of this and take a intersection point of this so here you take a text type true length type true length equals question mark so we'll go to see how much will going to be the value later so then to take dim take int of this and take intersection point of this so you're going to get 30 then take nearest point on this take perpendicular to this so you're going to get it as 65 so once you get this so next what we need to do is we need to find out the true length and front view theta and phi so to do that again i need to go to ddim i will just go to ddim and i will going to change ddim dd im and then go to modify go to primary units so you take up to second decimal point then you're going to close it so dim angular select between these two so you're going to get text uh, text uh, so here uh, you're going to get 25.59 so dd im dim so go to dim angular 
select between these two so 25.59 so 25.59 so you come down to this go to text give space enter so you place it wherever you want then again go to angular dim go to angular select between these two so 32 point 30 point go to text 30.26 so that is 30.26 yes so here give space enter so you are going to get this angle now we will go for list list i want to have the true length so you just click on this and enter true length is 69.46 so 69.46 mm and then we want to have list frame view i want to have a dash b dash 62.65 so 62.65 correct so hence your problem is right now we will go for changing the directions of projections so to do that go to leader so go to nearest you click on this take tangentially to this arc annotation option plan. again go to leader take nearest point on this take tangentially to this arc then annotation option plan. then switch on the ortho mode then go to leader, take nearest on this, go to annotation option plan. Then go to leader, take nearest on this and annotation option plan. Go to leader, take nearest on this annotation option plan. Then go to explode, explode this, explode this, explode this and similarly these two. Then go to erase, erase these two, erase these two, and erase these two. Then go to dim, angular, select between this line and this line. So you are going to get it as 30 degrees. So go to text, type 30, percentage, percentage, B, enter. So you are going to get it as 30 degree line. So now you go to DDIM go to modify and change this primary units precision as zero and say ok and say close now we have dim d dim ded you select this line text to the dimension so you drag it and place it here 30 degrees then you take this and take it out then you take this and you keep it here so this is how you will be able to create this drawing and from here you take it inside. Now we need to go for the D text. So to go for the D text, uh, command is D text. So here you take specify start point of text, take three, rotation angle is zero and type this as X and this as Y and this as VP and this as HP and uh, here you have a uh, go to here as capital a and this as capital b and this as locus of b and this as locus of b and this as capital b and this as capital a and now you switch off the Caps lock, go to B and this as A dash and this as B dash and here this as B2 dash. So you take B1 here. So one should do that. So you take uh, B1 and you mark this as B1 dash and you mark this as B2 dash and here it will be B2. One should do that. So now we need to move so switch off this ortho mode so go to x and you move this vp and you take hp so you have a and you move this capital a here then go to b and this uh, you take b2 here and this will going to be capital b and this will going to be the locus of b and this will be b1 and this will be b2 dash 
and this will be b1 dash so you have capital b so this is locus of b this is b dash and this uh, you have a dash and you go to m text and uh, you select this and you keep it as formatting go to area so change it to symbol come down to symbol you mark it as q theta then go to copy copy this uh, here and you just go to dd edit and change this to small letter f so that you're going to get five then go to move move this inside now we need to write the b text so go to text uh, so type answers here go to so here first you write two length 69.46 mm so go to d text uh, uh, you type uh, true length and uh, the distance is 69.46 mm so go to d text uh, and here you type 69.46 mm so once you do that then go to move and place it and you switch on the ortho mode so you draw a horizontal line and then draw a vertical line and take endpoint of this then go to line nearest point on this so draw a line then go to offset take the distance as six so in this you have uh, then go to copy select between these two and copy to the next one then go to dd edit so here what you are trying to write is a dash b dash 16.65 so a dash b dash 62.65 then uh, you copy this again and go to dd edit so here i want to write the degree symbol 30.26 so you take 30.26 uh, uh, percentage percentage d then go to copy select this and you copy it to the next one then here you take uh, 25.59 then go to dd edit 25.59 you take 25.59 take uh, 0.59 degrees once you do that then go to trim select this as the cutting rate and object to trim as this then go to copy switch off the ortho mode you copy this here theta and then you copy this phi here now we need to change to different layers you go to vp a dash select uh, vp a dash b2 dash b1 dash b dash focus of b then go to layer make that layer as front view then you just go to the top view hp b1 b b2 locus of b once you select this go to layer you make that layer as top view then you click on these two a's and these two b's once you do that go to layer make that sorry go to that color make that color as blue so this is how you will be able to create the drawing by using autocad software so this problem and this is exactly similar and once you do that so you just come to this and uh, this is how you will this will going to be the final answer when you are comparing with that with this both have the exact answer hence uh, this problem is becomes right thank you